Hello, I'm Yossi and I lead the Health AI team along with other teams who are advancing AI and using AI for the benefit of society, including conversational AI and tackling the climate crisis. Our teams focus on impact-driven research, innovation, and moonshots. So here's what we know. Healthcare is not equally accessible across the globe, whether due to cost, proximity to experts, schedule flexibility, or a host of other factors. So when we think of making healthcare more accessible to everyone, people like Santi come to mind. Santi lives with diabetes in rural India. She's been diagnosed with diabetic retinopathy, a disease that can cause blindness if not treated early. Diabetic retinopathy is asymptomatic in its early stages, making screening critical for diabetic patients. Unfortunately, challenges in access to healthcare means getting a diagnosis could take months if she's diagnosed at all. Santi is not alone. Diabetes affects 400 million people across the globe, 70 million in India alone. With the help of new technology and expanded access to healthcare diagnosis of diabetic retinopathy and other diseases could be vastly improved. In fact, it's already happening. Santi could get same day screening and treatment because of these advancements instead of waiting for months. Over the past few years, we've shared progress on our work in this space. Last year, we shared updates on our automated retinal disease assessment project in Thailand and India, also referred to as ARDA. ARDA uses AI to help detect diabetic retinopathy in patients like Santi. This is done by developing machine learning model to look for signs of diabetic retinopathy in photographs of the back of the eye. For patients, it's a simple process of sitting in front of a tabletop camera that takes the picture. The clinician then asks Arda for an interpretation and uses the information to decide whether to refer the patient to an eye specialist. We're so excited to share that this project has been tested with the Thailand National Screening Program in a prospective study, which found that Arda can be deployed safely and in real time across multiple regions. And achieves comparable accuracy to eye specialists. Across the globe, ARDA has screened more than 75,000 people, the majority of whom, including Santi, live in remote and rural parts of South India, with 10 times lower access to eye doctors than in urban areas. This innovation marks great progress. Our work with ARDA has reinforced the need for regular eye screening, especially for those who live with diabetes. But it's also made clear that we need to reach people who are unable to get to a clinic. So we've been reimagining the entire patient journey and investigating what's possible at home. Our engineers and scientists are envisioning a future where people, with the help of their doctors, could detect, diagnose health conditions from their own home. Today, our research uses large tabletop cameras to make high-resolution photos of the outside of the eye under uniform lighting. We found that a machine learning model could sometimes detect when a patient has high blood sugar levels, high blood cholesterol levels, or diabetic retinopathy on the inside of the eye just from these photos. This research has recently been published. We're in the early stages with our academic and non-academic partners such as IPAX and CGMH and hope uh, to build on this promising proof of concept research. This includes further exploration to see if smartphone images could also be used to detect these and other potential uh, health issues. With over 4 billion smartphone users globally, there is an enormous opportunity to increase the accessibility of screening and affordability of care. A device that was once used solely to make phone calls or sending texts has transformed to a fully featured computer with many sensors and functions that have the potential to unlock accessibility. One way we're doing this is with Dermassist, our AI-powered skin condition search app that helps people better understand their uh, skin concerns by answering a few questions and taking three quick photos. Importantly, this technology comes with the responsibility to build a produ product that works for everyone. People of all skin tones, skin types, ages, genders, and more. We have been working hard to build Dermassist with health equity as our priority, and we're excited 
to get Dermacyst in the hands of product testers later this year. As with Dermacyst, growing from solid-based is something we're already working through on other projects. Last year, my colleague Shwetak Patel introduced some of Google's work to extend the usefulness of everyday sensors to support daily health and well-being. At the time, he shared a new feature in Google Fit that uses your smartphone camera to measure your heart and respiratory rate to track fitness goals. I'm delighted to share that these features, which were first available on uh, Google Pixel, are now available on more than 100 Android device models, as well as iOS. Outside of the camera, a smartphone has many features and sensors that may give insights into health or wellness. Another capability we're testing is whether a smartphone's microphone can correctly record the sounds that a person's heart makes when placed over the chest, just like a stethoscope would. Listening to the heart and lungs with the stethoscope, um, auscultation, is a critical part of the physical exam during a doctor's visit. Healthy hearts give a characteristic rhythm, lub-dub, lub-dub sound. But hearts with valve diseases, like aortic stenosis or other conditions, can make different sounds such as whooshing or rubbing. Heart valve disease can sometimes go undetected. A study from the Journal of Cardiology found that 40% of patients are not diagnosed with aortic stenosis or AS until they start to show symptoms. A different study from the journal Circulation found that by the time AS patients show symptoms, half are already too sick, so sick that they will die from the disease within two to three years. Screening for AS typically requires specialized equipment, like a stethoscope or an ultrasound, and an in-person assessment. We're currently in the early stages of a clinical study where we're testing whether a smartphone application that uses the phone's built-in microphones can record a participant's heart sounds when placed over the chest. We look forward to sharing more on that in the future. Remember something? Arda helped ensure her diabetic retinopathy was detected early enough to possibly save her vision. For future patients, we hope to bring Santi's access to care closer to home with no commutes needed. Google Health strives to build more affordable, convenient, and accessible care to people around the world. We can't wait to share all of these groundbreaking developments in the technology with you.